all right fellas in this video we are going to see the best nvidia control panel settings for the after effects 2023 so first of all we need to go to search and you need to type nvidia in the search bar once you are done typing the nvidia in the search bar first of all we need to dive straight into the nvidia geforce experience if you don't have nvidia geforce experience you can click link in the description so that you can download the nvidia geforce experience uh, once you're right inside the geforce experience you need to navigate to drivers once you're right inside you need to click on these three vertical lots and uh, you will see two options here game ready driver and the studio driver we are gonna go with the studio driver because it provides the best experience for the creative apps and it includes the after effects so we are gonna use the studio driver so once you have downloaded and installed the studio driver on your pc you need to make sure you click on check for updates and it should say that you have the latest nvidia studio driver installed on your pc and once you are done now we need to navigate into the nvidia control panel again you need to go to search and you need to type nvidia and now we need to go right inside the nvidia control panel so once you're right inside the nvidia control panel you need to go to configure surround physics first of all and you need to select the processor under physics settings to your gpu processor do not go with the auto select or cpu we need to enable the nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ta to be used whenever we use the physics in the after effects once you're done you need to go to the adjust image settings with the preview and once you're right inside you need to click on use the advanced 3d image settings and you need to click on this and uh, now we need to dive straight into the manage 3d settings once you're right inside we need to apply the program settings do not go with the global settings because we are specifically going to apply the settings for the after effects first of all you need to click on show only programs found on this computer otherwise it will show you the list of all the available programs that is not installed on your pc so that is very important option and uh, once you're done you need to click on this drop down and you need to select your after effects effects from this drop down i have adobe after effects .exe file i will click on this and if you are unable to locate the after effects in this drop down you can click on add you can find the after effects from this list if you are not able to find the after effects and if still you are unable to find the after effects from this list too you can click on browse and you can specify the path where your after effects is located in this case by default the after effects is located at local disk c where your windows is installed then you need to go to program files adopt this is the after effects 2023 you must have the latest version of the after effects then you need to navigate into this port files and scroll down until you see the after effects this is the exe file and you need to click on open once you do so you will have the after effects after dot exe in this nvidia control panel to customize for the gpu acceleration all right so first of all for the image scaling you need to click on this and make sure it is on and keep the ratio at 50 percent and uh, that's it you need to click on ok for any dropping filtering you need to go with 8x i have tested the 16x but it is slowing down the performance of the after effects so you need to go with 8x no need to go for 16x or below that 8x is perfectly fine it is perfectly compatible with the after effects 2023 for some reason fx AA is not compatible for this version that's fine we can ignore it for the gamma correction anti-aliasing gamma correction you need to click on on for anti-aliasing mode make sure it is over at any application settings and for that settings go with 8x for anti-aliasing transparency you need to go with 4x super sample make sure to follow all these settings to get the maximum out of the after effects so for the background application max frame rate you need to make sure it is on and keep it at its maximum such that in this case it is 200 percent that's fine click on ok for the quota gpus this is the very important setting you need to make sure you use these gpus and you must enable the nvidia gtx or rtx if you have any and do not go with your cpu processor or intel that you might have by default in your windows so click on ok for the low latency mode make sure it is on do not go with ultra it will slow down your after effects go with on for the max frame rate again you need to click on on and keep it at its maximum and uh, you need to click on ok for the monitor technology make sure it is g sync compatible and for the multi frame sampled aamfaa you need to make sure it is on for opengl gda compatibility you need to select prefer performance for opengl rendering gpu make sure you select your nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ta this is my graphics card i will select this one for the power management mode this is the very important setting and you need to select prefer maximum performance once you're done you need to select the preferred refresh rate and you need to select highest available 
and for the texture filtering you need to make sure it is on and for texture filtering negative LOD bias make sure it is clamp for texture filtering quality make sure it is selected as high performance do not go with anything else it will slow down your after effects and will use much more CPU so we are gonna go with high performance for trilinear optimization under the texture filtering make sure it is on for threaded optimization it should be also on for triple buffering you need to go with on for vertical sync you need to go with the use the 3d application settings for the visual reality pre-rendered frames make sure you go with one that is by default and for the Vulkan OpenGL preset method you need to go with prefer layered on the XGA swap chain and that's it once you are done applying these settings you need to go to the bottom right corner of the screen and you need to hit apply once you hit apply it will save all your changes and now we need to dive straight into the after effects as you can see i am right inside my after effects 2023 and uh, first of all make sure you are in the default view of your after effects otherwise you will see some other options and this is the latest version of the after effects so make sure you have the latest version installed on your pc too so first of all you need to navigate to file in the top left corner of the screen and you need to select the project settings once you select the project settings you will see the video rendering and effects and this is the use we have to select the mercury gpu acceleration cuda that is the very important settings and once you're done you need to click on ok next we need to go to the edit and uh, you need to select the preferences and uh, navigate to general first of all you need to go to the previews and make sure adaptive resolution limit is selected as 1 by 8 and if i click on gpu information i can see it has detected my graphics card which is nvidia geforce gts 1660 ti texture memory this is the texture memory and you can increase it up to maximum if you want to go with 6 gb you can go with that one too but if you have a limit in this case i have 6 gb ram available and uh, the texture memory can be used up to 4607 that's fine the limit is uh, 2 gigabytes for example if you have 8 gb of virtual memory or for the graphics card you can go with 6 gb be here that's fine and you need to click on ok and we, uh, once you're done you need to go to viewer quality and zoom quality should be more accurate for uh, because we want the best results that's fine and for the color management quality you would also need to go with more accurate except cache preview that's fine next we need to go to the media and disk cache and make sure enable disk cache is enabled and the maximum disk cache size is 47 gb that's fine so what happens if you enable the disk cache it will try to store the frames in your disk and it will optimize the preview speed in your after effects so that is very important setting that you can enable so once you're done you need to go to the memory and performance and make sure ram reserved for other application is the minimum in this case i am going with 3 gb and as i have 16 gb 13 gb will be used for after effects and 3 gb will be used for other applications if i am using after effects or editing in the after effects enable multi frame rendering is enabled and uh, percentage of cpu reserved for other application is also minimum uh, i recommend to go with 10 percent for example if your uh, after effects is rendering some compositions 10% CPU will be used for other applications and 90% GPU will be used for your rendering. And once you're done, you need to go to the 3D and make sure both of these options are checked and that is perfectly fine and uh, once you are done applying all these settings you need to click on ok and now you again need to go to the edit but this time you need to hold the shift key while going to the edit so i have holded the shift key on my keyboard and now i'm gonna go to the edit and uh, again i'm gonna go to the preferences while holding the shift key and i'm gonna click on the general I'm still holding the shift key and now by holding the shift key as you can see I can see the secret tab here that is the very important setting in the after effects that can increase your rendering speed and reduce the usage of CPU so make sure you have enabled this disk layer cache and make sure you select the value as to purge every two frames during movie make and make sure you also select ignore sequence rendering errors this is very dangerous i do not recommend this but if you are unable to see any significant increase in rendering speed you can enable this but if you have very high end pc you can just uncheck this option and you need to click on ok and right now if you have followed along my tutorial see the significant increase in your rendering speed and the preview speed in the after effects follow every step that i have mentioned in this video and you will definitely uh, see the difference in the rendering speed of the after effects so that's it i hope you like this video please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you found this video very helpful and do not forget to comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day